the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Just how good is it? I'm going to do some tests and I'm going to show you some of the features and we'll see how good they are. Let's go. And the first one I want to go through is the audio. So right now I'm using this microphone here. As you can see, I've got it close enough where I normally have it on my lapel. If I take it further away, you should still be able to hear me. But the beauty of this microphone here, and as you can see one feature now, which is product focus, it should focus on that and then come straight back to me. But the advantage that I see with this microphone is number one, the size of it. Number two is the quality. So it has 32-bit floating. And if you haven't come across 32-bit floating, it is incredible. In theory, what it means is that I've got a lot more space on the wavelength. So I should be able to shout like this right now and not lose anything from peaking. Or I should also be able to talk nice and low and be able to bring all that up in post. Now, that's the first thing. Second thing is, built into this microphone here, you um, have a vibration. So if I turn it off, it vibrated in my hand and now I'm on the audio which is on the pocket itself. Now this has fully stereo audio so it's supposed to be able to have a very good pickup all around but I imagine as I go further away it will diminish but again if I wanted then to connect back up this you hold this in I get a vibration that it's uh, working and now that's connected back in as well to you and I get a notification as well on the screen that it's been connected so yeah that's this feature which is quite good. Well, the next thing I want to show you here is I'm walking here just at a standard pace and I'm not getting much in regards to movement so it is quite stable and also if you look at dynamic range in relation to this I'm pointing directly into the sun but you can still see the detail here on the grass below me and you can also pick out if, well, if I bring this down here lower you can still see even the details and the glisten on the grass so yeah really good sensor that's the one inch sensor being able to pick up all that but yeah another nice feature here of the Osmo Pocket 3. Now another nice thing you have here as well is one of the built-in features so if I go with this um, and this tree here for example I can do a spin shot and I can have that go 180 degrees or 90 degrees so if I started here to go 180 degrees it basically is turning around and keeping it on the same axis and once it reaches that I can then have that and come back in reverse. Now that's where I think I could get really, really creative in regards to the shots. So I'll give you an example of what I'll try and do here. If I go to the leaves here in this tree, and as I turn this, I move forward into the tree. So I kind of get a vortex effect as I'm coming in to the tree. And then if I reverse that, and let's do the same thing as it's coming back out through the tree, you get a pretty cool effect. So quite creative and again that's pretty straightforward to use. So also face tracking seems to be quite clever in regards to it. So I have it now turned on and it's tracking my face. As I turn myself around here it is going to keep me in the frame. It'll keep me relatively in the center of the frame. And one advantage I think even if you look here with me is I'm now backlit and I'm still quite bright. So we have the sun that's going, if I move down here, we can get the sun behind me. I'm almost kind of silhouetting myself within that, but it is giving me some really, really good uh, texture and detail as well on the face. And then coming back around again to be front lit, you can see how it normally would be. Now, there's also another feature as well that you can do here is you can position where I'm going to be in the frame so if i can decide that i want to go to the bottom right hand corner of the frame as an example i click on this here it will take me and put me in the bottom no matter what i do if i'm walking along like this here it will keep me in that side of the frame and if i turn around and i'm walking the other way it will keep me in that position in the frame now i can move that as well on the fly so if i decided to say okay i want to put myself um let's just say in the middle It'll lock me, keep me in the middle, and no matter what I'm doing here, it's going to keep me in the middle. It might take a while to catch up on it, but yeah, it keeps me there. And if I also want to say, okay, I want to put myself on the top right-hand corner, so I position myself top right-hand corner, it now takes me, and I'm now up in the top right-hand corner. So again, no matter what I do, whatever way I walk, it'll keep me in that position. So yeah, nice new feature, very simple to use, very straightforward, and very intuitive also. Here's another interesting thing that you can do as well. You can double tap on something and now it's active track is enabled on that tree trunk. So if I walk around, it will always keep that in the frame. And 
I'm not trying to aim it, I'm putting the camera in all different directions and it's keeping that within the frame, which is quite clever and I think I'll be able to get some good uses of that because if I'm approaching a subject, you know, if I go above it, it'll still keep it there and it's very easy for me to get different styles of shots without having to be overly clever. So yeah, that's the tracking of the subject. I think that's quite good also. With the lens and the standard lens that you have, it has an equivalent of around 20 mil. But you also get this, which is the wide angle adapter. And because of this being magnetic, all I have to do effectively is put it on here. And now I'm on the wide angle and it's an equivalent of 15 mil. So again, if we look over here to, the, um, to this side, look at this area here, you'll see the distance. I won't move the camera. We can take this off. Now you can see it's in a bit closer and then here, it goes a little bit wider as well. So yeah, very interesting, very straightforward, and I think it will be very good to, to capture quite a lot within the frame. So I'm stood probably around about three meters away there now. I've got the Osmo placed up on the tree trunk that I was a moment ago, and I've turned on tracking of me. So theoretically speaking, if I'm going to walk, it should follow me and I should now stay within the frame. And the beauty of that is I now don't have to do anything. I can leave that here. So if I'm walking along and I want to talk like this, to talk to you, or I want to talk here, explain something within a scene, it's going to follow me. And I think it'll follow me as well to this distance. Let's see if I come further away, how long it loses me, how further away I need to be. Right now I'm probably around maybe five meters away. So let's see, does it still track me? I think it is looking at it from here. I can't see the screen, you'll know, but I can see the camera is turning to come towards me. And if I was to come around and go to this side, you know, there is a limitation on the gimbal. It will only go so far in one direction. And I think I'm going in the right direction now where it can follow me. But this is following me all the way around here. And again, if I wanted to walk a bit faster, you know, is it going to follow me again? Is it going to lose me? Can I have you within the frame or me within the frame talking to you, explaining something that's behind? Very, very good, very st straightforward to use, but very clever in what I can do. So there's some very quick examples and some tests of some of the features in this fantastic camera. It really, really has impressed me so far. Can't wait to get it out and about, but I wanted to give you guys a view in relation to some of the features and more importantly, from the video and the audio quality. So what do you think? Have you any further questions that you'd like me to test? Please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider hitting subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the fall.